If your website has a search feature, it is very important to understand what your visitors are looking for. And in this video, I will show you how to track site search with Google Analytics 4. And no, just enabling site search in enhanced measurement is not enough. Hey, my name is Julius and welcome to Analytics Mania YouTube channel, where you can learn Google Tag Manager and Google Analytics. And if you want to stay up to date with Google Analytics 4, consider subscribing to this channel. Google Analytics 4 is capable of automatically tracking a bunch of interactions, like file downloads, outbound link clicks, and so on. Site search is also on that list. But if you want to start seeing that data in your GA4 reports, you have to do some additional configuration. And in this video, I will show you the exact steps. Also, at the end of this video, I will share some additional tips. So, let's dive in. Here I have a demo website, and on this website I have installed a demo Google Tag Manager container. And within this container I have only one tag, which is a GA4 configuration tag. This is the bare minimum that you have to do in order to install Google Analytics 4 on your website with Google Tag Manager. Now, if you don't know how to do that, I will post a link below the video to another tutorial where you can learn how to install Google Analytics 4. Also, in my Google Analytics 4 property, I have configured a data stream, and that stream by default has enabled enhanced measurement as well. So if I go to admin data streams and then select the data stream, here I see that enhanced measurement is enabled. And one of directions that is enabled is site search. On many websites, this feature is enough to start tracking site search queries with Google Analytics 4. So now let's take a look how this functionality works in action. So here I am on my demo website, and let's say that I am looking for t-shirts. So I will use the site search, and here is the search results page. What's most important here is that we have a query parameter, which is Q, and this is the actual keyword that I entered in the search field. And since we have this combination, Google Analytics Enhanced Measurement should be able to catch this search because in the URL we have the search parameter like this. Now, in order to start seeing this information in the debug view of Google Analytics 4, we have to either enable the preview mode in Google Tag Manager or enable the GA Debugger Chrome extension in order to start seeing the data right here. Now I'm talking about debug view of Google Analytics 4. So since I'm working with Google Tag Manager, I will just enable the preview mode right here by clicking this button. Then I will enter the URL of my website. And then I will enter the search query once again, which was t-shirt. First of all, in the preview mode, I see that my configuration tag has fired and I should start seeing something in the debug view very soon. And here I have started seeing my data. Now let's go to the website and search for t-shirts once again. Now let's go to the debug view of Google Analytics 4 and we should expect to see the event called view search results right here. Here's that event and if you click it, you will see that there is a parameter which was automatically tracked and that parameter is called search term. This is what I have entered in the search field and this is displayed right here. Now, let me quickly explain the actual principle of how this automatic search tracking works. Every time a page reloads, Google Analytics 4 tracking code is looking for certain URL parameters that might be related to the search query. In this case, we have a parameter called Q, but there are also some other parameters that Google Analytics 4 recognizes as well. So if we go to Google Analytics, Admin, then Data Streams, and select the Data Stream, then click on this gear icon and then click show advanced settings under the site search feature right here. Here you will find a list of five default query parameters that Google Analytics 4 recognizes. We have Q, S, search, query, and keyword. They are all separated with comma. If your website is using some different query parameter, for example, search key or something like that, well, as you can see, this parameter is not included right here but you can edit it and include your own parameter like this. However, it looks like GA4 site search feature does not like when you add something besides, you know, words and commas. So if your parameter includes the dash, it will not work. But if your parameter was like, let's say search key like this, then you could enter it here and it would work just fine. So if a page loads and Google Analytics 4 loads, and if in the URL, there is a certain query parameter that contains the search keyword that the user entered in the search field. Then you can configure site search to take that parameter and the value of this parameter will be sent 
as an additional parameter search term with the event that is sent to Google Analytics 4. All of this is done with help of enhanced measurement in Google Analytics 4. On most websites, these five parameter names are usually sufficient, but if you are working with some custom website or I don't know, maybe your website is using a different parameter, then make sure to include that parameter right here. Then click save and we can actually do another test. So let's say that I will be looking for pants. Well, right now I don't have any pants on this website, but I still have the query parameter with the word pants in the URL. So if I go to the debug view of Google Analytics 4 once again, I will see the view search results event again and in the search term parameter i will find what kind of keyword was the visitor looking for but this is not enough for you to see the search term data in your google analytics 4 reports i hope that this in the future will be handled automatically by google analytics 4 itself but right now if you want to see this parameter and if you want to use this parameter in google analytics 4 reports you have to register this parameter as a custom dimension. To do that, go to custom definitions on the left sidebar of Google Analytics and then click create custom dimensions. Here you should keep the scope as event because you want to apply this particular parameter on a single search event. Here you can enter some friendly name for this dimension. It will be displayed in reports. You can enter here things like site search term or if you want, you can enter like that. This is up to you. Then you can enter some description. This is optional and for internal use. And here you have to enter the parameter name that is sent together with the view search results event. In our case, that is search underscore term. And then click save. And from this moment, you will be able to use this parameter in things like Analysis Hub or some other reports in Google Analytics 4. However, keep in mind that in order to start actually seeing this parameter in reports, you will have to wait for up to 24 hours. Now let's take a look how can we create the report in Google Analytics 4. Here I am in the Analysis Hub, which you can find under the Analysis section. And here you can click on Exploration. First in the Dimensions block right here, you should click on the plus and include a new dimension, which is Search Term. Click Apply and then drag this dimension over the existing dimension in the Rows section. And if you did not manage to remove it as I did not, then you should just remove the previous dimension right here and make sure that you have only Search Term in the rows section right here. Then I can clear the columns and then in the value section, I can remove the active users metric and include event count right here. So I just drag this event count from here to here. If you cannot see the event count right here, you can click on the plus icon and then find this metric. So in total, what I have here is the dimension search term, which is added to the rows block right here. And then I have no columns. I mean, no dimensions in the column. And then I have an event count metric in the values section right here. Now what I see here is a bunch of not set event values right here. Well, because there are many events that were sent to my property without this parameter. So I can just do the right click on this, click exclude selection. And this will create an automatic filter right here, which is search term does not exactly match not set. That way I was able to exclude all the events that did not have the search term parameter right here. Or another alternative could be to use not this filter, but create another one where event name exactly matches view search results. So in that case, I am narrowing down this exploration report just to these events right here. So the result will be the same, but in this case, I still see some not set values right here. So apparently maybe not all users actually enter the search query, they just, you know, hit enter with an empty field. That is also possible. Or maybe I have some technical problems on the website and I should take a closer look at this. Nevertheless, this is how can you start seeing search term data in your report. But remember several things. If you want to start seeing search term parameter and use it in the reports of Google Analytics 4, you have to register this parameter as a custom dimension. This is the first thing. Then you will have to wait for up to 24 hours to start seeing this parameter in the reports and being able to include it as a dimension. And then if you want to use some other things like event count here or, you know, event name dimension in the filters section, you have to make sure that those things, for example, event count is included among metrics right here. So you can do that by clicking this icon of plus and then adding that metric. And speaking of the event name, dimension, 
you have to make sure that this is also included in the dimensions block right here. So this is the bare minimum that you should do in order to start seeing search data and start using it in your Google Analytics 4 report. And now let's take a look at some additional things that you can do with site search tracking. This applies not to all websites, but on some websites, this is definitely useful. So let's imagine that my search feature on the website has not only the search field, but also some advanced filtering capabilities. You know, something like this, where I can select gender, product type, body fit, or I don't know, something else. So if those additional parameters of the search are also visible in the URL of the search results page, you can configure enhanced measurement to take that automatically. So let's imagine that I have entered a keyword pants, but I've also selected gender. Well, I mean, there is no field right here, but let's imagine that I have also selected a checkbox that says that I'm interested only in uh, male pants. And then in the URL of the search results page, the parameter was added like this. Let's say gender and then male. So here we have the URL of our search page and in Google Analytics for enhanced measurement, what we could do is that we could go to the data stream settings, then to enhanced measurement settings, and then click show advanced settings under site search. Here you can enter up to 10 additional parameters that are also available in the URL. In that case, I should enter gender. If you have more parameters like size, maybe color, maybe collection, maybe something else, you can enter them by separating with comma. Right now I will just keep gender entered like this. Click save then wait for several seconds for these changes to go live. And then let's refresh the page of the search results. Keep in mind that I have two parameters in the URL. One is for the search query and the other one is for the gender parameter of the advanced search. Now, if I go to the debug view of Google Analytics 4, I should see the view search results somewhere here. And here it is. Here's the event. I click it and now I see only search term. So probably Maybe the changes did not go live yet. Oh, here is the most recent search event. So I should click this and here I will find search term, which is still pants because this is the value of the parameter Q right here. But there's also an automatically captured parameter, which is Q underscore gender. This is captured automatically by enhanced measurement right here because I have configured the gender parameter as an additional parameter in the enhanced measurements settings. So now if you want to use this as well in your report, you should also register this as a custom dimension in Google Analytics 4. So this is a really cool thing that actually does not require any configuration in Google Tag Manager, and you can configure this directly in the GA4 interface. But just remember that these additional parameters must also be available in the URL as query parameters. And query parameters are available in the URL and they come only after the question mark. If your URL contains, let's say, not a question mark, but a hashtag like this, this will not work and this will not be automatically tracked by Google Analytics 4. If this tracking method did not work for you, because maybe, for example, your search results URL actually contains a hashtag like this, then below this video, I will post a link to my blog post where you will find some additional tips on how to track site search if this tracking method did not work. But in a nutshell, what you will have to do is that you will have to then manually send the view search results event with some additional parameters to Google Analytics 4. And this is how you track site search with Google Analytics 4. Remember, if you want to see the data in your GA4 reports, you will also have to register custom dimensions for it. Hopefully, this will be done automatically in the future. But right now, we have to manually configure the dimension. If the URL of the search results page does not contain any query parameter with the search key, you can manually send the search event to GA4 together with the actual search keyword. If you found this video useful, hit the thumbs up button below the video because it helps me continue working on this channel. Also, if you want to learn more about Google Tag Manager and Google Analytics, consider subscribing to this channel. My name is Julius, this is Analytics Mania, and I will see you in the next video.